Hi, I'm Cecily Anderson. And I'm Kate Anderson. And we're Winter Grain. Yep. And I sing. I play guitar, and uh, we're super stoked about this. Yes. Yeah. It's aerodynamic. Oh my gosh, we can do our hair and makeup from the case. Oh, wow. Holy That's moly. That's beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow, that's gorgeous. Look at this. Look at oh, this. It's like the Martin mated with an android. Oh, I like the gold. Oh, I Against love it. Against the gray like that? So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Where are you hiding back there, Baze? I heard you. Yeah. I feel like I have um, stayed away from anything carbon fiber because I don't know a lot about it. And I have, you know, preconceptions. This is definitely warmer than I thought it would be. It's beautiful. And it's really resonant. I am blown away. Blown away. This is awesome. Like, you know, once in a lifetime type of situation. So, oh yeah, it's pretty cool. And I can't wait to like see all the specs. I've got a charger, like just even hearing more about it and seeing all the gear that it's got in it. I'm gonna, you know, the word nerd is gonna have tech nerd fun later. <laughs> can't wait to see all the. I gotta charge it up, Buttercup. We're inspired by many artists. Okay, but the, definitely, of course, Brenda Kyler. I mean, we, we recorded in her studio, so you know, we love her that much. I've been in the army for 20 years um, and a helicopter pilot for only 10 of those years. And I've loved it. I've loved it, loved it. Um, and there's only, as they say, like 1% of the overall army is aviation. And then of aviation pilots, only 1% are women. So we lovingly call ourselves, you know, it's the 1% of the 1%. So I know how lucky I am. I know how, how strange it is uh, to do what I do, but I've really loved it. Yeah, so usually the number one thing that people hear about helicopter pilots or things is our most scary maneuver, which is auto rotations. Um, it's where you pretty much turn off the engines or turn them off as much as you safely can um, to simulate your, when you lose both engines and you just need to fall to the ground. I was like, hey, it's like a couch cushion and you went from this ceiling to that floor and you know you have all these elements. Um, it just after a while, I was like, I know I feel like a poet when I'm up there sometimes, so can I write this song and it feel like another part of someone's life? We can see you out there, locked and loaded with your fist in the air. Until the fire came down, burning higher now, and the fire came down. There's no way to put it out. So much of it was just organic and easy. It all started in ways like around campfires or on camping trips with friends, or she'd go to play a gig and I'd go see her other show and I'd see the music she was writing. Um, and I'd start writing old folk country type songs and would just start singing around the campfire with someone else. But she'd jump in and go, oh, I'll just noodle on this. But every song she played on, she made exponentially better until finally I was just like, I don't want to I don't want to play just with anybody. I want to play with you. Can, you know, I, I'm going to go on the road um, shortly. I just booked a tour and I asked her to come along with me. And that was kind of the beginning of, hey, where is this going? Like, can, can we actually make this our music? So the reason why I wanted to be a musician was once I figured out what music was, I fell in love with it. It's just in my blood and to find somebody that I really respect their songwriting and that person being Kate, uh, man, I just, lottery, like straight down, like. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm in it to win it. I, I try to not be a musician sometimes and it just, it doesn't work. I always come crawling back. I think every artist has different goals. 
you know, um, because what inspired a song isn't necessarily what I hope people feel when I, when we perform a song. I, I just hope that they, they connect with it in a way like whether it gives them something that they didn't know how to voice before or that they didn't know someone else had before. And for me, I just want to entertain people because I think like at the base level, like we need to be distracted. I want people to hear us, no matter the venue, headphones, live or whatever, and go, oh my gosh, thank you. Not because I, I need to be thanked, but because they needed that moment, whatever that moment was, just a breather, you know? Yep. Does that mean they're gonna uh, feel a sad song? That's entertainment. Are yep. they gonna freaking dance? That's entertainment, whatever it is. But music being the vehicle to be entertained, and I don't think it's shallow to say that. Well, we